Welcome to The Straight Stitch, a podcast about sewing and other fiber arts. It's September of 2023, and this is episode one. September happens to be National Sewing Month here in the United States, so this seemed like an appropriate time to launch a sewing podcast. I'm your host, Janet Zabo. Get yourself a cup of tea or your beverage of choice and settle in. The first episode of a podcast is a bit awkward, rather like a first date. We have to get all the introductions and backstory out of the way, so let's jump right in and do that. If you're a knitter, you may have seen my name floating around the knitting universe. I was never famous like Lily Chin, but I like to say that I have something of a cult following. I taught around the country for several years at Stitches events, Knitting Guild of America conferences, and for guilds and yarn shops. From 2000 to 2010, I wrote and published Twists and Turns, the newsletter for lovers of cable knitting. During that time, I designed and produced over 100 patterns for sweaters and accessories. I'm also the author of three books, The I Hate to Finish Sweater Guide, Aaron's Sweater Design, and Cables Volume 1. I would have liked to have finished Cables Volume 2 because it's half written, but life intervened. In 2010, I trained to be a medical transcriptionist. I was burned out on knitting, and with a child heading to college, I needed to do something else. I loved being a transcriptionist. That was the closest I ever came to having a dream job. I worked from home, set my own hours, and the work was fascinating. Unfortunately, in 2020, I was replaced by a computer and my job disappeared. Around the same time that I began working as a transcriptionist, I also took up quilting. I belong to a Mennonite church and I've had the great fortune to be surrounded by many talented quilters and needleworkers. From quilting, I branched out into other kinds of sewing. I made aprons, bags, and even generator covers for my husband's construction equipment. I started to sew my own clothing. I bought vintage sewing machines at thrift stores and learned how to fix them up to run again. My favorite sewing machine is a 75-year-old Necky BF. If the house were burning down, I would grab that machine and take it with me. It has a big brother, a Necky BV, which is an industrial version. And then I bought a serger. A couple of years ago, I happened to be talking to the owner of one of the quilt stores in town. I asked her if there were any classes she wanted to offer for which she didn't have a teacher. I had loved teaching knitting and I missed being in the classroom. She asked me if I could teach serger classes. I thought to myself, I have a serger. All I have to do is stay one page ahead of the students. So I said, sure, I'd love to offer serger classes for you. I've been teaching at the two quilt stores here for two years, and now I'm also teaching fitting and clothing classes in Missoula and Spokane. For more than a decade, I've kept a blog entitled Suck It Up Buttercup. I post three to four times a week about life here in Northwest Montana. My husband and I live on seven acres and raise pigs and chickens. I have a very spoiled rooster named Dave. I also plant a large garden every summer and raise a lot of the food we eat. But why a podcast? I love to listen to podcasts while I sew. I used to listen to the excellent Sewing Out Loud podcast hosted by the mother-daughter duo of ZD and Mallory Donahue. Unfortunately, their last episode was almost a year ago. Whip Stitch is another great podcast, but episodes come out infrequently. And I tend to get frustrated with sewing podcasts that don't stay on topic. I have nothing against cats, but if you want to talk about cats, start a cat podcast. I'd also prefer not to be lectured about politics or social issues while I'm sewing. When I can't find what I want, I create it. I want this podcast to be fun and informative, full of stories about sewing, about people who sew, and about what they sew. You'll notice that I added, and other fiber arts, to the tagline. I want the freedom to venture into areas like spinning or embroidery. You can expect interviews with interesting people because I know a few. I'm not sure yet how frequently I will post episodes, but they will be at least monthly to start. I'm aiming for twice a month. I've always said that if someone puts a microphone in front of me, I'll talk, and there's no shortage of topics when it comes to sewing. The best place to find information about all my activities is at my website, janetzabo.com. 
That's J-A-N-E-T, S as in Sam, Z as in Zebra, A, B as in Boy, O, dot com. There are links there to the Big Sky Knitting Designs website, to the blog, and to all the podcast episodes. If you like the podcast, please share it with your friends or leave a review on iTunes. Until next time, go sew something.